Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Java tutorial in our Java tutorial series. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be covering how you essentially find the elapsed time uh, between different local dates and local times. Because sometimes you're, gonna, you're going to have to find the elapsed time or you know that kind of stuff um, to make certain things in your application work depending on what it is. So, um, a good example of when of when you're going to need to use something like this is to determine how long someone's been using your application for or uh, if you're making like a time calculator or something like that this is a good uh, this is a good concept to know obviously so let's get started first things first let's create a local date object and a local time object So local date, or actually, we'll go with local date time, date time is equal to local date time dot now. And then let's go ahead and create another local date time object. So local date time date time two is, is equal to, and then we'll say date time dot plus. And then we'll give it, uh, we'll say we'll just say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one hundred and twenty three million four hundred and fifty six thousand seven hundred and eighty nine. And we'll say we want that to be uh, we'll say in minutes. So chrono unit dot minute or dot minutes right so we have that now now we can actually find the difference between uh, we can find the difference between these by using uh, by using period so that uh, a period object is basically uh, basically is a representation of a period of time between two dates and times and stuff. So let's say period and we're going to call it period is equal to period dot between And if we look at our, if we look at, at our um, our documentation here on the side, you can see uh, this obtains a period contain uh, consisting of the number of years, months, and days uh, between two dates. So this has to be uh, this has to be dates, but that's but that's uh, not an issue. So, all right. Now we can we can change this uh, to a uh, to a local date object. So local date. Cool. All right, so 
in the parentheses of the of uh, of this between method, it takes in two dates, and it takes in the dates that we want to uh, that we want to find uh, the difference between. And so start date, and then the end date. Now we gotta keep in mind that uh, the end date is exclusive, as it says here. Uh, the start date is inclusive. So the start date is date time. Second one is date time two. Like that. Cool. And then we can go ahead and print this out. So system out print line. And in here we can say elapsed time. And we'll say period dot. And then we can get the amount of days, the, um, the amount of months, the amount of years. Uh, we can get a string representation. So let's see what let's see what the string representation is. So to string. Go ahead and save it. And then run it. And we can see we get uh, we get a bit of an issue here, and that's and that's because we didn't change our chrono unit. Uh, minutes isn't compatible here, so we'll say uh, we'll say days. Yeah, I think that'll work just fine. So days. Go ahead and run it. Save it. And now we get this. So right now, uh, this is the string representation. Uh, P stands for period. The Y stands for year. M stands for months. And then D stands for days. All right, so that's all fine and dandy, but but we're going to need to we're gonna need to be a little bit more specific, a little bit more clear on what each of these are. So let's go ahead and do system out print line, and now we'll get the months. So we'll get. Well, first of all, we'll get years. Well, actually, you know what? what we'll do is we'll say yeah, we'll say period dot get years plus years comma plus period dot get months plus months and then period dot get days. that. So, with that, go ahead and save it and run the code. <clears throat> and you can see down here, we get 338,013 years, 
two months and 15 days. That is how long uh, 123,456,789 uh, days is. Pretty neat uh, if you need to uh, add two dates together and whatnot. So that basic, that, that'll basically do it for this video, guys. Thank you all so very much for watching. And we'll see you all in the next one. See ya.